According to the most recent performance assessment on service delivery done by the Ministry of Local Government and the Office of the Prime Minister, Ntoroko District was among the worst performing districts having scored 23%. This performance will only put it above Kalachi and Kapelebyong, which both scored 19%. However, Ntoroko District leaders have attributed this poor performance to the lack of funding from the central government and climate challenges that hinder service delivery. You are talking about the local government management of service delivery assessment and uh, what, what needs to be known by the whole country is that the assessment by the Prime Minister's office and local government ministry, that local government performance assessment is becoming relevant. Why? Because if you keep assessing for the last five years and some districts keep where they are, why don't you ask yourself, why, are I, why don't you take steps to uh, support these districts also to improve in performance? According to William Kasoro, the LC5 chairperson of Ntoroko, the district has few government programs that can help to improve service delivery, unlike other districts that perform better. Now, when you assess us in education, you go to our primary schools, you find there are no staff houses. Those are max lost. The question is, who builds these staff houses? Why do you assess us with Kamwenge, Chegegu and Isinjiro, which was the best in Uganda? Isinjiro has a Dr. Deep program, while the bank are funded and the government of Uganda. Where in Dr. Deep they are supporting infrastructure. They are building staff houses, they are building classrooms, they are providing furniture. Then you assess Isinjiro with Ntoroko. That is very, very unfair. He added that the district has been constantly affected by floods, which hinders access to parts of the district for extended periods of time. You look at the climate change. All the effects of climate change in the region are affecting Ntoroko. The worst. Why? Because this is a rift valley. All the effects of degradation of the forest sea, deforestation of the forest sea, uh, all, all these are causing flooding, severe drought. And so when a sub county has been flooded 95% like Kanara, schools have been submerged. Do you think education will perform better? Do you think health will perform better? Definitely service delivery is affected. Many of these challenges were highlighted during a meeting of Ntoroko leaders and officials from Directorate of Ethics and Integrity in the office of the President. I cannot elaborate on how hard it is to stay even here. Some people feel to stay here, they stay in the Kundukuyo and in Fukuoka. The there is no accommodation for the staff. We have poor roads. At one, one, one part of the month, it is, the roads are submerged, mm. and when uh, immediately the water recedes, then you cannot maneuver from that road. Sometimes it is muddy. As a result of that, you are going for the on absenteeism and late coming. It's not a problem making. Well, it is all like, like people in Mukono and Kebe go and work in Kampai. But what we need is to go on the road, then we jump on the taxi. There are no taxes here. Even border borders here are not there. The border border is special height 50,000, 30,000 million. The officials from the office of the president were in Ntoroko to assess and sensitize leaders on corruption cases that were reported last year and caused poor performance in the district. Poor performance in uh, local governments of uh, Ntoroko, but this was due, we were here last year, and um, we were concerned with the, uh, the levels of corruption that was in the district by then. But um, police and the state house uh, anti-corruption unit took up most of the cases and we are sure there's been lots of improvement and today we, we we are not coming to find faults or problems within the districts but to streamline and uh, entrench the, uh, the zero tolerance to corruption policy <laughs>